Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked me, hey Shelly, I see you in your video, you've lost a lot of weight, you look good, what do you do? What do you take? What is in your hand? Because you're holding this cup um, and I see you taking shakes. How do you make a shake? So I've decided to make a video and to talk about what I put in my shake, how I make it, and how I make it so creamy and tasty that it just becomes an addiction, I tell you. Um, I just got back from Orlando literally an hour ago and I craved my shake so bad. I mean, I had my shake with me and I had my little shaker, but it's not the same as when you make it in the blender. Um, I mean, it tastes good and all, but there's just a specific way that I make it at home that I couldn't make in the hotel room because I don't have all the ice and all the things that I need. And you guys, I was craving it. And so I made it and I documented it and I want you guys to watch. And um, so you guys watch it, tell me what you think, uh, and then try it at home. If you guys need to order it, order it on my website. I will put the link down below. Go on Herbalife.com, get the products that I'll mention, try it at home, and I guarantee you guys, you will never want a morning or afternoon or even evening meal because you're gonna want that replacement shake and it is gonna change your life. It's got all the vitamins that you need throughout the day. Once you get a taste of that, it is gonna blow your mind. Anyways, watch it and tell me what you think video and I will explain exactly how to make a smoothie. This is the blender that I use, the Vitamix. It is very expensive. You guys don't have to get that. Uh, you can get Nutribullet, uh, the, the Ninja. There's so many uh, that you can use. Now I put about 16 ounce. You can put 12 if you want. Usually that's the norm. I just kind of eyeball it. So I just put 16 ounce and then I go for some ice and I usually put a handful. Three. I usually put about five, five, and one more, six. There you go. I don't. I I, I, I just about everything. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna go inside here in my little container, and I'm gonna go with a scoop of protein. It is formula one, and it's cookies and cream. And what gives it away is the little cookies in there. You'll see the little black spots and the shake right there. See the little right there at the end you'll see little black spots and so you get the little cookies in there yum 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 so that's one scoop i'll do two scoops here you go now if you want it to be really creamy and tasty and you want to gradually go with something that is kind of like not as sweet i recommend to add two of two scoops of uh pdm pdm is protein drink mix um, <clears throat> it will satisfy your hunger a little longer. It's got more minerals, vitamins, and it has one gram of sugar. Now this one contains a little bit more fat, 3.5. Um, and then, um, it's got 15 grams of protein, which is a little more than this guy here. Cause this guy is about nine or 10. So, um, if you do two of that, it could be enough. Uh, but if you're going to go work out like I am and you know, you're going to burn it, I suggest adding two more of these guys. Uh, the other option is to add two more of the personalized protein powder. Uh, again, that one has no flavor. See, this one is a vanilla. Uh, you'll see it at the bottom here, a vanilla flavor. Oops, I need to focus. Um, so it gives the drink more of a chocolatey, vanilla-y kind of a feel to it. This one here has no flavor, but it does thicken the smoothie. So I'm going to go ahead with two more scoops of the protein. The PPP looks just like so. And so I'm going to grab this scoop because I don't have enough to do two scoops in there. So um, this is the original container and I like to put them in glass containers. It's just easier to travel with one and then I'm going to go two. Now again, this one has no flavor and it does thicken the smoothie. It depends. Uh, I usually just use two scoops of the Formula One cookies and cream. But if I am going to go train and I know I'm going to be very active and I might get hungry quicker, I will do four scoops total. So two of the Formula One and two of the PPP. Now you can do two of the Formula One and two of the protein PDM mix. It's up to you. Um, all right. So the personal protein powder here, uh, as you can see, it's got zero fat. 50 sodium, carb zero, protein five. So every scoop was five 
grams of protein, so I added 10 to the mix here. So I have about 20 grams of protein before my workout, which is perfect. And now I'm gonna add a banana. I freeze them the night before. Um, so you can do that nice and hard. Bam, in there. Or you can go with your soft banana. You can just grab it. And um, I like the ones that are ripe. When you see, and they're starting to have these little polka dots, <laughs> it just tells you that they're ripe and they're ready to go. So you can freeze those or you can put them inside here. Now put the lid, you guys. And all right, and turn this baby on. And I leave it for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds and I'll see the consistency. If it's too slushy because I put too much ice, I let it run another five seconds. I notice the banana is not getting chopped. I can hear it. I don't hear it. And I'm pretty sure I'm right. And there she is. She is right there. <laughs> so I'm going to go grab a spoon and I'm going to move my banana a little bit because sometimes she is frozen and she jams up in there. Because trust me, once they get chopped in there, you'll hear it and it'll be very loud. And it wasn't being loud, so I knew there's something going on. All right, so let's try this again. There you go. Look at your hand. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. I want to see. I love the consistency. Um, if I want it a little more thicker, I can add just a little more of ice, and which I will because I... I know exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> One, and you guys can experiment. It's not about, it's all about trial and error. So it doesn't mean that your first shake will be amazing. Just keep trying every time you have one and see what you like. So let's turn this on. I think I'm good with that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look how creamy, and this is just with water. It's insane, look at that. A real milkshake. I like mine nice and thick. Um, sometimes I put more ice and it's more kind of slushy. Now this one is more milky. Um, and then I love my glasses. Where are they? Let me see here. I just got back from a trip. And so, uh, a lot of this stuff is scattered here. I'm gonna rinse this up, okay. And what I like to do is I like to do my, put my pre-workout prior to putting my smoothie in. So I kind of mix everything together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush it. Now the pre-workout, it's actually, it's a circle and I'm sure you can see it a little bit. It's about the size of a quarter. It's about this long, this big. And um, the thickness, it's about this thick. It's effervescent. Uh, I'm gonna try not to cr crush it completely. So I just basically crushed this baby up really good. And that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, try to leave one little chunk so you guys can see the thickness. Now I'm gonna open it. All right, and then I'm gonna pour it in. This thing tastes amazing. Um, it tastes like pomegranate, and it really does. And when combined with the your smoothie, it tastes like uh, cheesecake. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Um, let me see here. There you go. So you kind of see what it looks like in there. So this is about a little chunk of it. And I like to just leave it in my mouth because it's so tasty and it's so good. So when mixed, because I rinsed it, there's a little bit of water left. And it's starting to be effervescent. And you'll see bubbling. You have to, at this point, you have to add a little bit of water. Um, so I ran out of water. I got to steal the water from my coffee machine. <laughs> like I said, I was away. Um, so you just kind of add a little bit of water and you'll see it sizzles. Like that. It'll sizzle a little bit, give it a little twirl. And um, oh my God, this stuff is amazing. It tastes so good in my mouth too. All right, now I'm ready to put the smoothie in there. And I'll go really slow and it'll just cover the entire 
Look at that. I can make two smoothies with it and I will finish it. Look at this. Look at this beautifulness. It's gorgeous. Now this is called Lift Off. It's got ginseng and B12. Um, natural flavors. It is amazing to the taste. It'll give you energy just about all day. So if you know you're going to have a long working day, it comes in a pack of 30 or 10. So I got the pack of 30. Uh, see 30 tablets right here and they all look like this inside and you can get the pack of 10 just to try them out and they come in different flavor you have tropical I think you have orange so you have this is by far everyone's favorite all right now it's time to try it okay now it's time to try it you guys this beautiful frosty yummy tasty ah, it's so good it's refreshing it tastes amazing. It's got that pinky, bubbly, strawberry, pomegranate taste to it. It tastes heavenly. And um, this will hold you over for at least two to three hours. Mm. Until your next uh, snack. So enjoy this because it tastes unbelievable. And I'm on my second one already. The first one was a little more pink. I drank it all. It was just so good and I'm so hungry. I just got back from my trip. I didn't eat much and um, I was craving this. You guys will crave this. Like the day that you run out of your Formula One, you're going to be like, where is my herb alive? Because that's how I am. <laughs> so if you have any questions, call me, text me, email me. Let me know what questions you have, combinations that you can make. Again, it's trial and error. Another thing that I forgot to mention is if you add a quarter of an avocado, whether it's frozen or just from the fridge or laying around on your counter, one quarter, that's all you need, put it in your shake and you'll have the most luxurious, thickest smoothie you'll ever have. So that's another trick that I use. Um, so you could freeze it if they're going bad because they go bad really quickly, especially when they mature fast. And you guys are going to have the best shake ever and all made with water. Seriously, water and ice. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy, stay healthy, stay fit, and enjoy your shakey shake. <laughs>